Welcome back to my channel. Do you ever get that feeling that you want a villager hunt, but you run out of Nook Mile tickets? Well, why not hunt through the campsite? So today I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. Let's talk about the basics first. You have to have the campsite. To unlock it, you have to upgrade your resident services from a tent to a building. Once that is constructed, you go in and talk to Tom Nook and he will ask you to construct the campsite to attract more residents to the island. He will give you a kit. You won't have to give him any bells or crafting materials to build the campsite. You just place the kit down and it will be constructed the very next day. A visitor will come to your campsite the day after it is completed. You will have to invite this villager to live on your island in order to progress the game. After that, you will be free to villager hunt through the campsite. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to villager hunt through the campsite. The very first thing that you want to do is make sure that your software is closed. Now, even though we're in July, I'm going to time travel to February 1st so I can show you how it's done. Now, the reason why I'm traveling back a couple of months and starting on February 1st is so I can show you a clean slate on how it's done and you can keep up with the dates. Once I started on February 1st, I didn't get any announcements from Isabel. So when I opened the game, I automatically just went ahead and saved the game so I can do a reset. Now I'm going to go ahead and time travel to February 2nd and see the announcements from Isabel. When Isabel makes her announcements, she will let you know if there is a villager at the campsite or not. If it is not, time travel to the very next day and so on and so forth until you get the announcements that tell you that there is a villager at a campsite. This will be your first campsite day of hunting. On February 2nd, the announcements did not say that there was a villa at the campsite. So as soon as I get into the game, I'm going to automatically save and quit and continue time traveling until I get the announcements that says there is a villager at the campsite. Keep in mind, it's very important to continue to time travel in each day, but you must save and quit to lock in that day of gameplay. I started on February 1st. I time traveled every single day, one day at a time, saving and quitting as I went until I got to February 6th, where Isabel announced that I have my first villager at the campsite. So I head on into the campsite and look who it is. It is Blue Bear. Oh my goodness stop everything <laughs> okay guys let's be honest at this point in the video i'm already like i want blue bear so i'm gonna go ahead and invite blue bear in go through the motions of playing the game if you need help on how to do that i have a video called the campsite trick i will link that down in the description below so as for now let's go ahead and get blue bear okay blue bear is moving in but sadly poppy is moving out Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue time traveling each and every day and saving and quitting as I go to show you the steps in the process of moving in the villager. You saw she had a sold sign, then she was in boxes, and then finally she was moved in. I'm continuing to time travel to look for the next day for my campsite. Now, usually that is around four to six days. So I'm continuing to time travel each day to show you the steps of after moving in a camper in. After I moved in Blue Bear, it took about four Four days until I got a new camper and here you see I have a camper called Diana she's super cute but unfortunately I'm not gonna move her in because I just moved in blue bear after meeting Diana it is time to save and quit and again I continue to time travel step by step to show you how many days it takes again for the next campsite villager to come up now this time when I go to travel I'm traveling from the 11th all the way to the 17th because I've had LaBelle and CJ come in between that and here I have Tad Tad has now come to my campsite to visit if you want to choose Tad, you can choose Tad at that moment and start the process all over again. Or you can continue to time travel again until you find the next day for the announcement. It's usually going to be, like I said, anyway, between four to seven days, depending on if you have NPCs visiting the island. So here I am again at the campsite. And this time I run into T-Bone. Look at him with his little donut. <laughs> so T-Bone is not somebody I want either, but you know, you can keep on doing this process. This time I went ahead and skip counted, but I saved and quit one day, then went ahead the next day. And here I ran into Frank. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you found this video helpful on how to villager hunt through the campsite. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.